We've been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we wanna. Picking up our love friends, fill up the car to lip bands because we wanna. We wanna. Yeah, we just wanna have fun. The trunk's full of wine. We're gonna stay up, have the time of our lives. The night is in. Hi, everyone, and I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season. I've been having a lot of fun. I wanted to try something new and different. Well, it's not that new, but it's gonna be fun. I haven't done this particular item, but I've done something similar. So let's get down and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, for those of you who love the little wood cutout gnomes, I present more wood cutouts. So this one is a cute little beehive with two little bees. And then I have a beautiful rose. So we're going to do some bloom work on these. Um, I've got two different sets of colors. And actually I should have these reversed because the colors for you are over here and the colors for you are over here. Okay, so for my bees, I have TLP Submarine. I have Eye Candy Pigments in Ninja Black. This is a pigment by Craftis called Ecru. It is gorgeous. Oh, very bronzy. Then I have my eye candy pigment in Penny Copper for some sparkle. And of course, for both of these, I'm going to use my eye candy pigment in the 14K Nugget Gold because that really brings the sparkles. And then I also have some Amsterdam Naples Yellow as a tube paint to go with these. On here, I think I'm going to bloom my bees and then do some bloom swipes on my hive. Then on my rose, I've got Surin Purple from Eye Candy. I've also got in Eye Candy the Baku Red and the Hakashika, I think it is. It's a beautiful iridescent white. Then I've got TLP Twilight. And uh, for my tube paint, I've got some Artist Loft Neon Pink. So that's gonna be on the flower. So we're gonna put the flower to the side for a minute. And we're gonna start with our beehive. Put that right in the center for me. And then our, of course our base coat is our Amsterdam Titanium White with Mixed Pour. All right, so we're gonna start with a base coat and see what we can do with these. I'm not sure with the, you know, all the holes in this one, how this is gonna work, but we're gonna give it a shot. I wasn't sure how the gnomes were gonna work being multi-level and they came out great. So we're just gonna get us a little base coat down and go for it. All right, so like I said, I think I'm gonna start by putting some little blooms on my bees, and then we will do some swipes on the hive. This is my palette knife, and uh, we'll go from there.
Oh, I'm liking that bee. Yep, yep, yep. All right, let's spin our bees a little. I did the bees first because I knew they were going to drop down into the hive area as I painted them. So this allowed me to clean up a little, have less effect from the bees on my hive. Lift that for just a sec so I can get rid of some of this. Okay, let's put the bees down. All right, now I'm gonna put a little more white paint on there where we had to scrape some. And we're gonna do some swiping. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna load up our palette knife, not that one, the other one. And do some swipes down the beehive. Hear the voice within calling This heavy load got a yep. Yep, changing my mind, folks. Sorry, that was sort of pretty, but no, no, no. Changed my mind. I don't want black. Keeping your feelings bottled up inside, heading for a collision in the night. To really live, you gotta die. Breathe in, breathe out. Hey, come, come, come alive. Breathe in. Okay, I'm liking that. Get that pride up for you. Okay, here's my bees. I'm gonna put that off to the side and we're gonna work on the rose. Okay, now we're gonna play with the rose. This will be a little simpler because it's all one thing instead of being, you know, two toned like the bees. Two separate sections. The only thing here is you've got the insets and the raised areas. You got the white knuckles holding on a tie. Keeping your feels bottled up inside. Head in for a collision in the night. To really live, you gotta die.
Okay, guys, I don't know when the camera turned off. I won't know till later. Um, I apologize. The camera's right there in front of me, almost, and I have no idea what you missed. But this is so gorgeous. Look at this. Look at this shine. Look at that. Wow. All right, we're gonna set that to dry, and I'll give you another close-up of both of them. Hold on. Okay, let's take another look at these. So these are my bees, flying around on their beehive. I think they came out cool, like in the beehive. There is a lot of sparkle there. You can sort of see it if I turn this sideways. But, oh, that's gonna be beautiful. And this, oh, look at this. My rose. There's a lot of sparkle. You can see it right there. Oh, I can see it sparkling. Oh, I'm loving the colors and beautiful cells of lacing. Oh, gorgeous. All right, we're gonna let these dry and see how they do. Hang in there for dry results. Okay, we have dry results on my little wood cutout work. Look at these bees. They're so cute. I love the bees. They came out really well. And I like my hive. And then this is my rose. And it came out splendid. Oh, so happy. And we do have lots of shine coming to the bright light my lamp. Look at this. There is some good sparkle and shine in that. Ooh. Let's see this. Not so much sparkle in the bees. A little sparkle in the bees. A lot of sparkle in the hive. Very pretty. So happy. Okay, I hope you enjoyed these. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell to see more videos. Have a wonderful, wonderful week, everyone.